excuse me, is the seat taken? No, go right ahead. <sighs> At least something went right today. Bad day? Yeah, first I leave my childish boyfriend, and then the hotel loses my reservation. It's cold out here. Care to go inside the bar? I think the hotel has one off the lobby. Sure, I'm up for it, too. So, I take it that you're having a, a really bad day. How was your boyfriend childish? He just... I don't know. It's like he refuses to live in the present. All he cares about is music and his record collection. We are almost opposites of each other. People still have records? Yeah, you see what I mean about not living in the present? My friend is kind of the same, too. Really? He doesn't really fit into the society of where I come from. You could say that he is below average. It's a shame that some people refuse to move on. Well, my friend was born with his defects. Sucks for him. Do you miss your boyfriend? Sometimes. Everything reminds me of him. Oh, before I forget, I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. I'm Helmholtz. That's definitely a unique name. It's more common than you think. Whatever. Are you sure you want to break up with him? Maybe you can get him to change. I don't know. I'd have to show him how to live in the present. What about your friend? Oh, I, I don't know. He's in New Mexico with a girl. Good for him. What is it like where you are from? It's funny, really. All the old people hate the new generation, and the trend continues. They all think the new generation has no appeal for the old ones. Changing trends, huh? We can't have trends where I'm from, as we get no freedom at all. The government controls everything. That's terrible. It's not bad, actually. The sacrifice for the benefits of my society is worth it. Everyone is happy here. Do you ever feel repressed? I actually feel something. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I think I'm supposed to defy my society. Well, that's a start, I suppose. Are the people happy where you come from? Not even close. Everyone argues about everything, no opinion is respected, and therefore nobody listens to anybody. Sounds horrifying. Well, it's not so bad, actually, once you get used to it. People tend to, as you said, move on. Distractions, as I see it. You could call it that. So wh what's your job? I mean, uh, how do you make a living? Oh, I work for a law firm. That sounds exactly the opposite of your boyfriend. I'm a lecturer. Another one of the reasons we don't get along. Well, what do you lecture on? I'm afraid I can't tell you. That would be against policy. Oh, I understand. I'm, I'm still confused. Wh why don't you guys break out? Break up. Couldn't you just compromise on your differences? Well, it feels like my boyfriend tries to get me to like all the things he likes, but he won't let me be myself. But, but you work for a law firm, don't you? That, that's very different than working in the music industry. Yes, but he still tries to get me to get into business with him. Why not try to get him to take interest in your occupation? <laughs> to become a lawyer? That would take years, and he's too lazy to even care. I only wish that he would go back to being a DJ. Why not help him go back to being one? Well, but the place where he worked is out of business. So, start another one. Well, that may be a good idea. Still, as much as I hate his shop, I want to help save it. Then get a local singer to perform live. Oh, good idea. Who knows, maybe we'll get back together with him. Well, that may be a problem. Why is that? Well, I'm with a new guy. We've actually started dating when my other boyfriend and I were still together. That's cold. Does he know? Which one? The one you broke up with. Well, he's catching on. He's been calling my apartment's number for weeks on end. Sounds like he's desperate. It's strange. He's had experience with breakups before. He had five girlfriends before me. He must be quite a chick magnet. Well, he still finds ways to screw it up. At least give him a chance. No way. I already gave him one. He can't have another. All the more reason to try and take my suggestion to show him how to grow up. He's 30 years old. I feel like an idiot. You can't be too old to just try. I thought you lawyers like big projects. Well, some of us do. Mostly we tend to give up early. Are you one of those people who give up? No, of course not. What are you then? I, well, well, that's not important. I consider myself to be a human being, and I'm proud of it. All right. So what's your society like? Well, like I said, everyone is happy because we take SOMA, and the government 
Makes you sure we get enough of it. What's Soma? It's a drug. The perfect drug, the way they advertise it. It makes you feel happy and experience your wildest dreams. You mean hallucinations? What are those? You know, fantasies you imagine that you think are real. Still no idea what you're talking about. Never mind. So what exactly do you do for your job? I mostly form lives. What on earth for? To keep people happy. That's all we ever do here. Does it get repetitive at times? Rarely. I have no complaints so far. I do despise my, disp my superiors, though. Why? Each person is given a rating here. I am among the top as far as the rating system goes. Rating? You can think of a rating as a different level of caste or class. As a member of the highest caste, I'm supposed to have a minimal amount of dis a minimal amount of ability. My superiors think I have too much ability. Is that even possible? Sadly, yes. So, have you ever had a relationship? Yes and no. Here we can have any woman we want. It's difficult to explain, but getting a woman here is almost too easy, as long as you meet the requirements for your designated caste. I don't think I want to be part of that. Oh, relax. They don't even give birth. Well, then how do you create more people for your society? Women can donate their ovaries for six months' salary before going through a long and complex process where the end result is an embryo that will be designated to their certain caste. I... Uh, that's horrifying. Why is that? Well, there's absolutely no freedom at all. Forced to be conditioned to a caste from birth. But that's the beauty of it, the way we condition them, they don't... But that's the beauty of it. The way we condition them, they don't maintain individuality, and no one is supposed to rebel against the government. Is that true for everyone? Not exactly. The place my friend is going to, that, that I told you about earlier, is a reservation. They're considered uncivilized, and simply keep them controlled to protect the conditioned people from the uncivilized. Why is your friend going there? Vacation. He's an odd fellow. I'm fairly surprised that he managed to get a woman he likes to come along. I thought you said it was easy to get a woman. Uh, but some women don't like those who have defects. Your friend has a defect? Indeed. Remember when I said he was born with a defect? He's a foot too short and more quiet than the standard requirements for his cast. Is he the same cast as you are? Slightly lower. Do you ever feel the need to, you know, be alone? It's against the rules to be talking about being alone. Our superiors believe that anything not going towards the success of the society must be banned. But, but sometimes it helps. I don't know. All I want to do is see the reactions of my students' faces when they hear a rhyme that goes against their conditioning. Then give them a rhyme about being alone. Perfect. I can't wait to see how they react. Good luck to you. Any advice for my friend? Well, you can tell him just to deal with it and eat more of that perfect drug or whatever. Sorry, I'm just having a hard time trying to understand your society. It's all right. It's difficult to understand yours. It's a bit strange, actually. I'd expect the worlds to at least be a bit more similar. What do you mean? I, I guess I thought there were more similarities between our societies. Your society is the opposite of mine the way you speak of it. I believe it's similar in some cases, but not all. Well, our governments have different views of how to govern a population. I'll agree that every society chooses a different way of treating its people. Everyone has opinions on how to run a good government, so it's difficult to define a perfect government. Well, I think it would be impossible to incorporate some of your ideas into my society, and vice versa. Like you said, our societies are too different to be compatible. I wonder if I would last a day in your society. I think it, was, I think it would take you a while to get used to our customs. It's a bit difficult to take it all in at once. But you would have problems with the freedom we have here, seeing as you have no idea how to spend time enjoying it. I, I could try. I suppose you could. Well, I have to get back to the hotel and see if I can get another reservation. It was nice talking to you, Hemholtz. I will miss talking to you too, Laura. Good luck with your boyfriend. Good luck to you with your friend and your students.